We're going to find out exactly if those predictions hold true because the finals are here. Week number three, and the fights have already begun in Virum. The fight is already breaking out in the mid lane. The heel is already forced on the side of Team Noob. They're not quite able to take down that initial pick there. The Mina with a breath of life on the side of Vitality, able to walk away from that. So a nice little initiation, both sides trading blows. Sometimes we see teams come out and they, they take it easy, you know, they're testing each other. Nope, we are out of the gates, swinging, blazing, every adjective, let's get going. Yeah, I love what Satoru did there. He knew that Joker is gonna use his cannon shot to clear that wave, so he moved away to not get the, the AOE value from that shot. But the interesting matchup here is going to be Sutaro versus Pitch. And we know both these side laners are just gods in the side lane. So who's going to be able to outplay who? And I feel like that's going to be such an exciting matchup to see if Pitch or Sutaro are going to carry harder. And speaking of the side lanes as well, King is someone who's been surprisingly quiet so far today. King, a player that we hyped up a lot in weeks past, but he hasn't been doing a whole lot. I mean, he's been consistent, he's been all right, but he hasn't really been a big playmaker for his squad. I need to see that change. If his team has any hope of taking it down, Team Noob, they need King to be playing out of his mind in this series right now. So I'm really going to watch for him. He needs to be an X Factor for his squad. Yeah, I definitely agree with that because if you think about Sutara was the one. And look at that. Wow, that endure timing. He blocked the death from above from Vex. Moon is such a god. That was insane. He just predicted and anticipated that Vex would ult him, and that saved his life because if that landed, Moon would have been dead. Easy. I mean, that was, we call it frame perfect. Must have been playing on a Razor phone because he was getting all those frames <laughs> right there. Uh, that was just beautiful coming in from them now, and they are now going to be able to force out the side of the, oh, Vitality though. But look at the splash damage coming in. Oh no, both teams trading out here, but 07 has joined the fray. Is he going to try and contest this? Is he going to try and clean this up? Oh, the snipe there on the King as well. Okay, that fight. For a second, I'm like, yo, Team Noob's about to rock this. I'm like, wait, Vitality's about to take this. Team Noob kind of came back, but that was absolute chaos. Both teams, again, they don't want to wait. They just want to go, go, go. Yeah, that was so massive from, you know, from the side of Zephys. He was able to get, Vex able, was able to get a three-man death from above. Kind of helped them win that fight, but then the fight turned around in their fi against them when Max King came in there, did so much AOE damage with his with his with his whirlwind ability, and was able to turn that fight around and not let Team Noob get too much of a lead. And denying that additional healing as well, I think was a big factor there. But I think it really just came down to how much everybody was clustering and clumping and just giving so much value over to the way of Moon when he drops the wheel down. That second, I mean, it, it hurts when it explodes as well. It's going to be tough to deal with but now it is Poseidon here finding the opponents there but it is Moon who will be the target the victim here stepping a little bit too far forward and Zero and I might be the one who ends up paying for it as the dive comes in as well in the mid lane so that is going to be King making his appearance once more so trading out across the board both sides here Chagnar does actually end up living there as well so Revenge, counter revenge, almost counter counter revenge. Yeah, and SC, you can see Zephy is, is such a good hero because he comes in the middle of a fight when the fight already started and then just cleans up using his ultimate. And look at that, he's landing these deaths from above so well. And wow, the Joker lands that cannon shot from downtown and secures the kill. Seven on this Joker, and we saw that against Nova. This guy and this Joker just carries. I mean, I was, we haven't seen ADCs have too much success today, but we are seeing the Joker who actually has. Decent early game scaling as well. He is able to make plays for his team in the early game. And they're not just hiding him away in the jungle. They're not just, you know, putting him, putting him off to the side. Oh, we'll bring you out later. No, he's being active and involved this entire game, which I think is crucial here. I mean, we traditionally see ADC's being laid, and that is how we're seeing it here once more here. That is traditional MOBA fashion, and we are seeing it right now as Azura is going to be the target of the ult to follow the damage wow. there from the side of Team Noob. And that is utter deletion. Six kills to five right now, very even back and forth, but it is the gold lead of Team Noob starting to come yeah. out on top here at a tower on top. Team Noob going off in the early game. And that is the weakness of the Mina here. You saw Azura come in there trying to get to the tower, but Joker comes in with his canned laughter ultimate, gets the stun on Mina, and then the entire team just blows her up. That's exactly how you want to counter Mina. And, Vi and Team Noob is just playing so well against Vitality right now. Look at that rotation as well. Vitality is stumbling. Ryoma kind of wandering off. He, he, he found himself in the opposing team's jungle. I think someone needs to print him off a map because that was not the place to be, friend. The perfect collapse coming in from the side of Team Noob. And one thing we haven't really seen so far 
is the, the max value that we were kind of hoping to see from King. Instead of value, we are actually just seeing utter chaos as the side of Vitality wow. is getting shredded. A beautiful taunt, not nearly enough. The knockup from Pitch, that red stallion going in there, trampling the side of Vitality. Tower or not, it does not matter. Yeah, even though you do have the taunt, However, it's a 4v2, and what a nice rotation. And look at Seven, he steals, he takes that red buff, denies it from Sitaro, and it's gonna get the kill here. But can Sitaro turn this around? He might be able to. Wow, he does it as Zuka. Sitaro making plays on this panda. Nicely done there, a 1v1 going the way of the panda. That was exactly what Vitality needed there, shutting down the farm of Team Noob for just a little bit longer. I mean, they're gonna end up going in and training in the end, but that was really what they needed there in that instance. The rotation from Team Noob, just a little bit too slow. Poseidon, I think, thinking that his teammate could take that and realizing, wait, no, we cannot. So nice play there from the side of Vitality. This just shows the individually, mechanically, the, the members of Vitality yeah. go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone. Sutaro's mechanics are just phenomenal. And look at this gank here. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're actually waiting. And the redemption gets caught out. Beautiful death from above. Secures a kill on it. And Azura is in a really tough spot as well. Azura forced back under the T3. Not enough. The high ground tower will not save you. And redemption, someone we point out is a huge playmaker. A linchpin, a critical facet, that vital gear at the center of the turning cogs that are vitality. He is out of line right now. He is not spinning how he should be. The team is not rotating around him correctly. Again, he just seems a little bit lost. Team Noob is making him play their game. Yeah, what a nice rotation. They anticipated that rotation from Vitality. They knew Redemption was going to come to his jungle at that moment, and then they engaged on him so hard that he didn't even stand a chance. This is why they first picked the Cephys here. Vex is playing so smart on the Cephys. He's landing every single death from above. And when he lands a death from above, he activates the Thunder Clash. The Thunder Crash uh, ability for Zephys, where every time since after a death from above lands, every attack he does, ability damage he does, is does additional da magic damage. And that's devastating against a Vitality that's behind. Yeah, and the Vitality, they're just fearing the lockdown, and 9 has the ability to deny any of the counter-aggression, the counter-CC. Wow. Mina, it will not save you. Taunt just makes them still keep hitting you. That is not an <laughs> ideal situation. She's just not tanky enough yet at this stage of the game. All the while, King is doing his best to split push, and I have to give props to the King. The Max has been a huge factor because Max is better. You have to be the one setting up the picks. You have to be the one setting up the fights. That's when Max gets value. But Vitality is constantly on the back foot, which means that he's trying to do work where he can, which in this case is split pushing, but it's kind of a small recompense because Vitality is just still so far behind. Yeah, and that's exactly why Mina was deleted so fast. Azur, although he did play it correctly, you want to use Dark Dominion because it decreases damage by 50% and makes the entire enemy focus you. But if you're level 7 and your opponents are level 10 and 11, good luck. And this is the second time that Seven used his Can Laughter to stun and initiate onto the Mina and allow his, the rest of his the enemy, his team, to then focus and burst Azur down. And that's something they need to watch out for. Watch how fast Seven takes down these towers. They are ripping apart. Pitch is trying to split the team as best he can. Azur pulling them back in with the taunt as well. The Death Scythe going in. Poseidon is deeping. Dive deeping in the backline. That was Moon. He's going to be able to retaliate and take him down. Nicely done there. Two takedowns for the side of one. The trade going in. The double kill falling up as Moon is dancing around. Very well. The wheel is there fighting underneath that smite, but it is not enough. Zero seven almost finding redemption there as well. What insanity! Team Noob surviving on a razor's edge, taking it to Vitality in this early game. And watch how fast the high ground falls. They are pushing into the top lane while getting value there as well. They looks might just like to end here. Lubu, there's no point in pushing in the top if your team's just gonna win. Wow, look at the damage coming off from the side with that dark slayer buff. They just delete Sutaro, just disappears. But in that fight under the tower. The person was Poseidon. He went in there to the back lane. He did so much AOE damage on Tulin. He got so many of his thunder uh, bolts off, lightning bolts, hitting all the enemy heroes, and then using his Endure to distract the team so that his team can get the tower and win those key fights. And L'Oreal tried to come back. However, Vex timed his death from above perfectly after the Endure wore off. CC her and then killed her. So very, very nice mechanical play, honestly, from both sides of the fight. Both teams showing they can roll, they can contest, but but mechanics, you said it, Sui J, mechanics are what it comes down to 
and micro split second decision making. You have a moment, there is an instance in time, and it was Team Noobs multitasking in that fight, splitting up the team, but getting driving focus fire while also taking another tower, while also getting the dive, while also timing minion crashing. They were doing everything. Vitality has their back against the wall. They are being pushed onto the high ground. The minions are going in. Azur is going to find the taunt over the wall. Nice to done. Poseidon's going to try and jump out as well. But look at the damage, the knock of the follow. Redemption and crew are getting absolutely melted. Moon's going to drop as well. Beautifully done. The Joker going in. That damage is massive. Vex is going to live as well. Chogner doing a great job healing for his team. And that is going to be the double. That was crazy. Team Noob are looking solid. I love how they're kiting. They're doing such a good job. Vex is going in there with his death from above, hitting multiple people, getting so much AoE damage. And then Joker, Seven, is just standing from behind and getting additional AoE damage. And then the, the two in also. But look at this fight here. This is can be a turnaround for the side of Vitality here, and it may may well be. Vitality fighting back? What was that? Put him against a corner and they retaliate. <gasps> Five. Man wipe on the core. The ace. Vitality. The, wow. dog, the dog snaps back. That was that. That's what that was right there. You put you put him against a wall, and they put you into the boards. That was the recovery they needed. You could not ask for more than that. The five man ace. Oh my! Team Noob just has to take a second to go. Whoa! What, what, what just what just happened right there? Yeah, you do not. You never want to give an ace over. And as a result, they're able to farm up, get some more items, but they need to build either a tomb of the reaper or cursed death against this. Tulin. Tulin has Rhea's blessing. Poseidon is so tanky because of the lifesteal he gets and the barrier it gives him when his HP falls below 40%. So you can see Poseidon playing so aggressively with Tulin because he can. He has all that AoE damage and this is what they need to do to win the fight. They need to then counter that aggression. They need to get an item that can counter that HP gen. If you, if you notice, Vital Vitality does not have a heal. Team Noob does. They have to focus their execution. They have two executions on the side of Panda and on King. If they can use those two executions and delete one of the heroes, like a Poseidon, coming in there so hard and so hot, if they can kill him right away, they can win these fights turnaround. But so far right now, the DPS is just higher in the side of Team Noob. They're killing. It doesn't matter if Mina's in the front. They just kill her and focus her down. Well, when you have a rank breaker and a Muramasa, it's not going to matter a whole lot. They're just going to rip you to shreds right there, which is how Zero Seven 7 is choosing to build this, denying all the armor. Moon is going in, maybe feeling a little bit confident here. The smite's going down, blinking all over the place, getting the wheels out. Not getting a whole lot of value with it, though, and that is a big alt down as well. But... Vitality is doing a fine job of split soaking right now. They are able to get that experience in gold, uh, get that farm up while pushing out all these lanes. They've only lost one high ground tower through all of this. Yeah. So despite the aggression Team Noob is bringing in, they were actually doing a pretty good job of defending it. There is a chance for Vitality to come back. They brought this gold deficit down to only 6k. Yeah, 6k is not that huge of a deficit. It does sound like a lot, but it's not 10k. And they're starting to get their jungle. They're starting to get level parity, which is very important here. Because you look at Mina, she's level 12. She's two levels below the Chognar. And that's something that they need to fix so that she can be a little more tanky for her team. Because when she uses Dark Dominion, the entire enemy team focuses her. She taunts them. And if she doesn't have the items and the level to tank all that damage, she just becomes like butter. And that's something that has been happening in a lot of these games. Azura is not able to be the tank that they need. And if you look at the side of Vitality, they don't have a lot of tank besides Max. So Max needs to engage here. He needs to distract them, get on their back line, distract the Joker, so that the side of Vitality can then either focus down Vex or Poseidon. But honestly, Poseidon is their main target. He, Max is actually locked on Poseidon right now because they know if they don't kill Poseidon in these fights, he's going to carry with the amount of damage and the itemization he has. And he's building actually more tank. He's buying more health items, which will make it a lot more harder for Vitality. And make it hard for Vitality, especially when they try and jump in, deny that, and instantly get melted, as you say. Look at it, Moon in the back line with the Injure is going to try and survive through this, diving all over the place as well. So, oh, that is going to be Zuki getting absolutely wrecked in the back line as well. Beautifully done there. Redemption is going to take down one member here, but they're actually going to be right back in this fight. Pitch, though, will fall, but uh, for three members, he will absolutely take that trade, as they now have the minion wave pressuring in in the top lane as well. And watch how fast Joker is going 
going to take down these towers once that minion wave starts coming in. I'm out of breath here because these fights are so intense. They're going down to King, wow. forcing them back. The can oh after the goodness. deletion. Beautifully done. Shognar denying any of the CC as well. That is going to be the chaos protection there, and King is going to be done. That is going to be them pushing in onto the core. Vex is just standing there to taking the... Oh, wow. A little bit of manners coming in there. And with that, we have GG. Team Noob is going to take game number one here in the...